Hello everybody and welcome. The Halloween event in Rainbow Six Siege is now available and in today's video I wanted to bring you some of those details. But first, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. I bring out a video on all the latest news and information regarding Rainbow Six Siege and other FPS games as soon as I possibly can. So without further ado, let's have a look at all these pumpkins, goblins and things that go bump in the night. First of all, the map house has had its Halloween makeover and is now called the Mad House. I think it actually looks really good. There's an eerie kind of darkness in the air with a bit of mist and fog. There's plenty of pumpkins dotted around, some creepy goblin statues and some really weird creepy noises going on in the kids' bedroom. Now if you do want to play this map, you better be quick because it looks like they're running it for a limited time, which is the 25th through to the 31st of October. Now if you do get the chance to jump in and play on Madhouse, you'll notice that there's only a limited number of operators you can actually pick. For the attackers, you'll have a choice of Buck, Ash, Thermite, Hibana and Finca. And for the defenders, Valkyrie, Vigil, Jaeger, Pulse and Mirror. Now I'm assuming this is because those are the only operators that have got the Halloween makeover, but they do look really good. Now speaking of makeovers, for this Halloween season, you can get your hands on the Crimson Evil packs. This can be done one of two ways. Option one is to do some challenges, or option two is to buy them with R6 credit. Now the first option, challenge one, is get 30 kills in a Madhouse playlist, and that will reward you with one Crimson Evil pack. The second challenge is get 60 kills in the Madhouse playlist, and that will also reward you with one Crimson Evil pack. Now, if you're not about doing those challenges, you can, like I say, buy them with R6 credit. So for one pack will be 270, four packs will be 1,080, eight packs will be 2,160, for 12 packs is 3,240, and if you want the complete collection, you'll be looking at 5,670 R6 credits. Now, I did get one of these Crimson Evil packs, and as you can see, I got the Suture Mask for Vigil, which does look really creepy. And again, if you are after these Crimson Evil packs, you better be quick, because they're only going to be running from the 25th of October through to the 5th of November. So if you do want to spice up your operators with some spooky Halloween outfits, be sure to get in before the 5th of November. So do let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this madhouse and the Halloween makeover for Rainbow Six Siege. If you have got any questions regarding this Halloween event in Rainbow Six Siege, please do drop them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to reply as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. As always, I do appreciate your time. I hope you all have a brilliant Halloween. And until next time, goodbye.